Welcome back to PowerboatOne.com. Now that we've got the engine installed in the boat, rail kit's tight, everything's good, we're going to put our carburetor on. We're going to run a one-inch spacer on this, and then the carburetor we're going to run is going to be a quick fuel 650 marine carburetor, electric choke, dual feed, great carburetor for this engine application. Let's start putting parts on it. We're going to start with a, an ARP stud kit here. And these are a little longer stud that are for the one inch spacer that we're going to run. You just really need to kind of screw those down in and cinch them in. You could take and put some Loctite on them if you wanted to, to lock them in. Normally I just kind of run them in and tighten them down. Now we're going to take and put our gasket down, which it just slips right down over the studs onto the intake. Take and drop our spacer down on it's in place take and put another gasket on now we'll take our carburetor drop our carburetor down in place it sits on just like that nice and easy now we're going to put our throttle bracket on this is a throttle bracket from hard marine works on these 4150s 4160 carburetors it sits up on top of the carb, just drop it down over the studs and then put the nuts down on it. You also could use it with bolts if that's what you were using. The back of this is where you would actually attach the clamp for the cable that will connect to it to run the throttle. After you get the throttle bracket in place, we'll take and put our nuts on the other side and just run them down up against the flange on the carburetor. Those are in place there. Take your wrench and then just tighten down the, the nuts a little bit as you go to kind of sink them in place. Now the carb's good and tight. We're going to run a hard marine fuel line here. Fits on these 4150 carburetors on that center to center. You'd remove the factory fittings that go into the bowl and then you would screw on the fittings that come with the fuel line that have the dash six end on it and they'll just replace them. Let's get those fittings pulled out and get this installed. Now that we've got the fittings up in, just take and tighten them up. You don't want to go too tight because you just got a plastic washer in there. So just tight enough to cinch it in place. That's right there. And the fuel line just threads right onto it. It can go really either way. It can go with the fuel pointing forwards or you'd be able to flip it over and run it with the fuel going rearward, depending on where you were bringing your fuel line up into your carburetor. I think on this one, we might just run it to the back, being our, we're gonna mount a fuel pump here and bring our fuel in from the rear side. Thanks for watching, powerboat1.com.